A Samare. I thought they didn't like the ocean. Maybe she's curious. A Samare. It's one of the dark people. A dark person. He's probably a shadow god. The captain of that shadow ship. One of the dark people. He's a shadow guide. It's one of the dark people. I seek passage to your city. I wish to visit the library. We are here to trade and to collect. We do not take on passengers. A long time ago I sailed on one of your ships, and I met one of your people. He called me a wave. Not many of your kind would lay claim to such a title. I'm not laying claim to anything, I'm just telling you what he told me. If you were a wave, we would grant you passage. But all I see is a human. I'd like to ask for passage again. We do not take on passengers. I'm sure we can come to some sort of understanding. We cannot. We do not take on passengers. Ever. You did once. A long time ago, I was given passage on one of your ships. Then you were fortunate. It does not happen very often. One of the Dark People. He's a shadow. I'd like to ask for passage again. We do not take on passengers. I'm desperate. I need to get to your city, to your library. I'm looking for someone. There are no humans in the city. Rarely is anyone allowed to visit our forest. Not a human. Someone else. The white of the drag kin. I know of no such creature. You should look elsewhere. I'd like to ask for passage again. We do not take on passengers. I'll pay you good money for passage. We do not crave money, human. Then what do you want? We are here to find new additions to our library. Someday it will be complete and we can sleep. Until then, we travel and we collect. I'd like to ask for passage again. We do not take on passengers. How can I prove that I'm what you call a wave? It is not something you can prove, it is something you are, and you are not a wave. Then why did one of your people tell me I was? If you ever were a wave, it is no longer in you. I see only death in your eyes, human. And made April Ryan. What can I do for you? Would you be interested in parting with that book of yours? Oh, I don't know. I, it's the last remaining copy, you know. All the other copies spontaneously combusted. I'm aware of that, but I need something to get me passage on that shadow ship down in Shady Quay. You believe my book would help with that? Maybe. The Dark People collect books, and yours is quite unique. Isn't that so? It is. It is. Wouldn't you consider it an honor to have your first published novel become a part of the greatest library in Arcadia? Hmm. I would. I would indeed. Wait, I have it right here. I carry it with me always. <laughs> there you go. Treat it with care. Don't let it get wet. Don't uh, feed it red meat. And uh, for the love of the balance, do not hold it upside down when there's a full moon. 
Oh, never again shall I glance upon the top ten reasons why you should not build a flying castle on page 42 and smile knowingly. <laughs> but think about it. Thousands of people will get to enjoy your unique outlook on life. Your book will be part of something much, much greater. You're right. Of course, you're right. Go on, take it away, or I shall... <laughs> become emotional, and when a wizard weeps, the whole world weeps with him. Oh, the humanity, the humanity. Potions, herbs, curiously shaped cookies. You collect books, isn't that right? We collect all that is written and recorded. Books, scrolls, stones, crystals. History, poetry, journals, stories. From the first word to someday the last. Until our collection is complete, we will continue to travel, to trade, and to collect. I guess the last existing copy of a rare book would be pretty important to you. It would be unless we already possess it. You don't. Not this one. Farewell to My Wizard in Days by Robert F. Clax. I will speak with my brothers at the library. This is a book we do not have. We need it for our library. Will you part with it? For a price. I need to get to your city. Show me the book so that I can see for myself. Very well, human. This book is of value to us. We will grant you passage on our shadow ship. Thank you. When do we leave? Very soon. We await only the last deliveries from our suppliers. Step aboard. You sure you don't want anything to eat? I can order in. I'm not very hungry. Thanks, though. All right. Some coffee? Tea? No, thanks. I have, um, whiskey. I'm fine, Damien. Really. All right. So, what do you think? I think you shouldn't believe a word of what that man told you. He was trying to get inside your head. There's no proof that anything's happened to Reza. I hope you're right. If I've come this far and it turns out Reza's... Stop it. There's nothing to be gained from imagining the worst. He must be very important to you. Reza, I mean. He is. Reza was my best friend for so long, and I was totally in love with him. When that feeling went away... I don't love him any less, but it's different now. I don't know what's going on with me. I've just... I've lost faith. Not just in him. In everything. School, my friends, my hobbies, my future. Reza. Nothing seems to matter that much anymore. And that's why, when Reza went missing, I knew I had to go after him. Not just because he's my friend, and not just because I love him. But because if I didn't, then who would I be? 
What would I be? I may not like the Zoe I'm turning into, but I would have hated the Zoe who just abandoned her best friend like that. So, yes, he's very important to me. Of course. And right now, more than anything in the world, I want him to be okay. So, uh, that man? The one in the garden? He acted like he's behind the whole thing. Like he controls Watty Corp. I've heard rumours, but I've never actually believed. I think his name is Alvin Peets. Peets? The guy who founded Watty? He'd be several hundred years old, but uh, in a way, it still makes sense. It's a sort of urban water cooler legend. Whatever happened to Alvin Peets? No one knows. But there are lots of theories. Some say they've heard he's been kept alive by machines, and that he still controls Watercorp. It's the kind of thing you have a good laugh at. He wasn't just hooked up to a machine, Damien. He looked like he was a machine. At least partly so. And he was just... Ugh, evil. Sad, pathetic and hateful. He claimed that we were stealing his senses. I think he was actually afraid of me. From what you told me earlier, it sounds like he's completely dependent on the wire. The static must be scaring the hell out of him. If he needs the wire to see and hear, he's completely lost without it. I just don't feel safe anymore. He knew who I was. He's been inside Reza's dreams. He has spies everywhere. Cameras, bots. Don't worry, Zoe. He won't find you here, I promise. I'll check around tomorrow. See if I can dig up any information on Pete's. You must be tired. I'm keeping you up. I'm sorry. I'm just... Yeah, I am quite tired. I guess I should find a hotel and figure out what to do next. Thanks for the clothes, Damien. I'll... Hey, no, 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 there's no need to find a hotel. You can stay here. I, I mean, if you're comfortable with that. I can sleep on the floor. Oh, you really don't have to. I know, but you've been through a lot, and you're helping me out, so the least I can do is let you sleep in my bed. Um, no, um, that didn't come out right. You know what I mean. <laughs> Thanks, Damien. If you're okay with me staying here, I will. Okay, so, um, let me get the bed ready for you. That's okay. I can... Um, yeah. Uh, just, um... Well, I, I guess you can give me a hand. Okay. Yes. Great. Uh, by the way, if I'm gone when you wake up tomorrow, uh, don't be alarmed. I have to be at the office quite early. Oh, that's okay. I'll be fine. I'll just stay here. Good. Let me find you a sheet and a cover. This is it, Apostle. The Empire's greatest achievement east of Sadir. A monument to our might and to our faith. Even in Sadir, there is nothing that can compare to this. Why was it built so tall? You're asking the wrong man. I don't question the infinite wisdom of the Six. I have absolute faith in their decisions. Of course. As do we all. Go right inside, Apostle. The Emissary is expecting you. Diane has escorted me here, to the Tower. And he has also shown me some of this strange city. My escort. Go right inside, Apostle. The emissary is expecting you. These young men serve their mistress as well. I hope they all won't have to serve their six years in foreign and unfriendly lands. I hope they all won't have to serve... I hear the six are planning a visit to Mercuria. I hope it's true. I hear the Six are planning a visit to- She appears to be a woman of high standing. She is certainly aggressive. She appears to be a- Goodness me, you're a fine strapping lad. If I were 70 years younger, I'd take you dancing gossip mongers be damned. I don't know why these rebellious youngsters have to go and cause you so much trouble. 
They should settle down and raise families instead. I hope they all won't have to serve their six years in foreign and on... Are you hunting down the terrorists? If so, I'm ready to serve under your command, Apostle. Are you hunting down... I hope they all won't have to... It's an honor to have you visit the frontier, Apostle. I hope they all... It's good to have you join us here in the Goddessless East, Apostle. Any word from Sadir, Apostle? This is my third winter here and I miss home. I am expected in the emissary's office. I should go inside. Apostle Alvane, welcome to Mercuria. Please, join me. We are honored to have you visit us. I trust your journey was comfortable. It was, Mistress. This is an impressive edifice. The construction is almost complete. We will soon celebrate the inauguration of a permanent Azadi seat in the Northlands. The Six will travel all the way from Sadir to be here for that momentous occasion. But I bore you. You already know this. So, Apostle, I understand that you have been sent here to bring the word of the Goddess to the Scorpion. I have. He's responsible for the death of many Trueborn here in the North. Indeed. And I surmise the Six no longer have faith that we will find him and kill him ourselves. I am only here to assist in your efforts, Mistress. I do not intend to challenge the authority and expertise of your commanders. I see. Well, we should be grateful that an Apostle will lend his sword to the task. These terrorists, they have become more than a nuisance. They stand in the way of technological progress and spiritual enlightenment. They are only making it worse for the people they claim to protect. After all, we wish only for these heathens to be bathed in the purifying light of the Goddess and to receive passage to Paradise. Instead, those bothersome few make life miserable for everyone. They seek liberty and democracy, but what we have given them is so much greater than that. Without us, they would not even have the city. We have given them peace, prosperity, and progress. What more could they ask for? Yes, mistress. Hmm. So where do you intend to start looking? If you wish, I can lend you the services of my men. Thank you, emissary. I will require only a few men, but not yet. I have a few leads to follow first. Just do what you must to stamp out the fire before it spreads too wide. I will have no more delays to the construction of the tower. Our schedule must be upheld, or there will be grave consequences for everyone. I will do everything in my power to bring the Scorpion to justice, Mistress. Good. You may leave me, Apostle. I will see you again soon. Commander Vamon. Apostle Alvani. What's brought you out of your sanctuary? A mission. A mission? I see. It must be quite a mission for the Council to have sent you all the way from Sadir. After all, it's not like we don't already have many fine officers and agents here in Mercuria. So, who do they want you to kill this time? Anyone I should know about? My mission is a matter of confidence between myself and the Emissary Commander. Don't insult me, Alvani. I have the Emissary's ear and our utmost confidence. We're not in Sadir. Things are done differently here. Commander. Forgive me, Mistress. Did I speak out of order? 
The Apostle is here at the behest of the Six. We would do well to treat him with respect. Of course. And he's most welcome to our little outpost of the Empire. He was just leaving. Thank you, Apostle. May the light of the Goddess illuminate your path. Thank you, Emissary. Commander. Apostle. Mistress, you sent for me. What do you make of the Salvane? You served with him in Sadir, did you not? I did, Mistress. Alvane is a brilliant swordsman and a loyal servant to the Six. Spare me your politics, Commander. We are alone. I don't trust him. He's risen through the ranks much too quickly. He has connections. Someone inside the Sixth Circle holds his hand. I believe so. His skill with the sword is... better than adequate. But his standing in the court is unprecedented for a man of his caste. Yes. He is... young, is he not? Too young. And he has no family. No blood. Ah. Now I see why you dislike him so much. My pardons, mistress. But his lineage is not all that I distrust. He has strange friends, and his virtuousness is galling. Why this sudden interest in Apostle Alvani? The Six have sent him here without consulting me, which is worrying. I wonder what this could possibly mean. Also, the Apostle appears... soft-hearted. He has never been this far from home. If he begins to empathize with these heathens... I understand. What would you have me do? I want to have him followed. Make sure he does not get... distracted from his mission. As you wish, Mistress. That is all, Commander. You may go. Thank you, Mistress. The Apostle will never stray far from my sight. I can assure you of that. Honor us with your presence. Your wave has crossed many oceans and carried our vessels far abroad. Thank you. So you know who I am? The Shadow Guy didn't. It is curious. We share a common memory, and our thoughts are as one. He should have known. Maybe he was simply confused. Maybe his eyes were blinded. Maybe. That's fine. I'm here now. So this is your fabled city. It's stunning. It is one city. It never ceases to move. It flows at the will of the cosmos. At the mercy of waves and currents. You have come to see the white of the kin. Yes, that's right. Why is she here, with you? It is not for us to know the mind of the dry kin. You may ask her that question yourself. Come. She is in the library.
follow me. These are their homes, but they are void of individuality. They really are a hive mind. Follow me. Please be quiet. We are resting. He wants me to follow him to the library and to the White Dragon. These are their homes, but they are void of individuality. They really are a hive mind. These trees reach deep underwater, probably much, much further down than they reach up. Books, as far as the eye can see. There's no glass in those windows. It's a magical force field. There's no glass. There are texts in every language and on every kind of material. Stone tablets, woven cloth, parchments, inscribed crystals, but mostly books. I can't see anything that I recognize. Not that I've read much of anything in Arcadia. I still miss the romance novels from back home. Some of these look ancient. Like, really ancient.
I've never been able to distinguish one dark person from another. And I'm not even sure it's possible. I've never been able to distinguish... This is our library. It's enormous. It is as ancient as we are, as old as the first civilization. We have collected every word ever written. There is no other library like it. And you've only collected what others have written? We do not create. We collect, we record, and we store. It is left for others to trap words between sheets of paper. We do not often allow visitors into our city. But if you have a purpose here, then you are welcome. I guess I have a purpose, though I'm not sure what it is yet. The greater the purpose, the harder it is to understand and to accept. I shall go to the White of the Kin and tell her that you are here. The library is yours to peruse in the meantime. Someone's been reading. A lot. Someone's been reading. Crow? Is that really you? Hello, April. How nice to see you again. Thanks ever so much for leaving me hanging dry on that mountain path. Eight bloody years ago! How have you been? You mean for the past, oh, I don't know, eight years? I know. I'm sorry. Let's try and get past that, okay? At least for the time being. And that time just happens to be... Eight years? All right, okay, fine. I'll be a good foul and pretend everything's just... peachy. Thank you, Crow. So what in the name of the balance are you doing here? I'm on a journey of inner discovery. A journey of... Never mind. It's good to see you, Crow. It's been too long. Yeah, you know... No, oh, for crying out loud! I'm... I'm really happy to see you, too. Honestly. Who said anything about being happy to see you? I'm just relieved you're alive. And don't think I'm not angry at you, or that I've forgiven you, because I am and I haven't. I know. So what's new with... Sister, you look tired. Thanks. Nice to see you too. You've changed since the last time I saw you. That's because I have this human body. Do you like it? It's hard to miss. Why are you in human form? It's a disguise. I'm in exile. Someone hunts the kin. That's why I'm here. And why I'm wearing this skin. It's tight and uncomfortable, but it conceals me. And it makes some humans look at me with admiration. Wait, you're being hunted? By whom? I don't know. Shadows and ghosts. I think the others are gone, and I'm worried. All of them? I know the two dragons and Stark are gone, but what about the old one, the blue of the kin? He's silent. They're all silent. I can't feel them anymore. They've ceased to be, and I'm alone. Is it the Azadi? Who are the Azadi? Oh, yes. The humans you've taken up arms against to forget yourself. No. This enemy isn't mortal. You have no idea who this enemy is who hunts you? I feel it searching with dark eyes. Reaching out for me with sharp talons. It wants to eat me up. But why? Why would anyone want to kill the dry kin? So that there's nothing left to challenge it. So that it can run free amongst mortals. 
so that it can devour, undisturbed. But don't worry about me. I'm safe here. It can't touch me now. Why do you call me sister? We're bound by threads that weave through time and space. By words that create and destroy. And by kinship stronger than blood. I don't know what that means. It's been troubling me for so long. Are you saying that I'm a dragon? There were only four. And now there's only one. No. You're not dry akin, sister. Then what does it mean? I can't explain. It's not in my vocabulary to explain. And this narrow mouth can't articulate the words. We have history. But more than history connects us. I can never get a straight answer out of anyone in this world. I came here looking for answers. I need to speak with the Guardian. You have questions for him? Yes, about my... My future, I guess. You want to know if you're free from responsibility. Free to live your life. It's what all humans crave, isn't it? Freedom. And I understand why now. This body is so constricting. So small. So fragile. Soft and beautiful and pleasurable. But a prison for the soul. How did you know what I planned to ask the Guardian? Your worries weigh you down, big sister. Your heart's heavy. And your mind's a maelstrom. It pulls at me and everyone around you. You're unable to shift. I'm... Yeah, I've lost that ability. It's not something you can lose. Maybe you've just forgotten how. Well, it doesn't work anymore, and even if it did, I can't just open a shift into the Guardian's realm. Really? Why is that? Because that's not how it goes. I can't... I could shift between Stark and Arcadia, but it was a hell of a lot more difficult to go to that place. Everything's changed, and everything's still changing. But you're right, you can't do it on your own. This one needs to help you. What? Me? What could he possibly do? Thanks, April. I'm right here! Some respect, please! Like all living things, he has a purpose. This is his purpose. Or at least part of it. He's an important bird. I can help you open a shift, sister. But it can't be done without him. He must go with you. I'm not agreeing to anything unless someone tells me what the heck I'm supposed to be doing! You only need to be here, funny bird. You'll be fine. Close your eyes, April. What? Close your eyes. Don't argue. I get impatient. Fine. My eyes are closed. What now? Nothing. You've opened up a passage between worlds. Do you see how easy it is? What? How the hell did you do that? I didn't do much. As I said, you can't lose your talents, but you can forget them. I helped you remember. So I can shift again now? No. Not on your own. I don't know why. That's just the way it is. The portal will remain open on the other side, but it won't take you back here. It'll take you to Mercuria. Whatever answers the Guardian may have for you, and whatever your future holds, that's where you need to be. That's probably true. Well, I appreciate all your help. Take care, okay? Stay here and stay in that disguise. It suits you. This is the safest place. And there's so much knowledge here. So much wisdom. I never knew that the scribbled words of mortals could be so fascinating. Good luck, sister. Live well. You deserve it. You've earned it. Come on, Crow. I don't trust portals. They always lead to trouble. Go on, little one, funny bird. She needs you now. More than ever. Okay, okay. Lucky for you, I have a soft spot for pretty ladies. Coming through! Hey, you. Hello. How are you doing? Just peachy. I've, um, slept. Read. Slept some more. 
I've never been this tired in my life. No wonder. You've been around the world and through the ringer. It's a miracle you're still standing. I know. I keep surprising even myself. So, any news? Definitely. We started receiving information from the worm. It's just a trickle, but enough to work on. And? Not good. I don't know what's happening yet, but it appears DreamNet is expanding onto the wire at an alarming rate. Also, the virus, if that's what it is, is increasing its grip on the Dream Core. Another week, and Whitey might not be in the driver's seat any longer. Can't they just shut it down? Maybe, but they won't do that now. They'd have to shut down the entire project, and if they wait, the window of opportunity is shrinking. What else have you found out? I've begun searching through the data coming into Dreamcore, around the time the static started happening. With any luck, I might be able to get some coordinates. Coordinates to what? To where the intrusion originated. To who's behind it. If I can get that location, we might be able to stop the attack at the source. But it'll take another few days to download all that data. In the meantime, we'll just have to wait. No. No, we can't just sit around and twiddle our thumbs. We need to do something. Okay. Mm, what did you have in mind? I should go back in. Back in? Hey, no. That's not an option. It is an option. You have a dreamer, right? And that drug... Uh... Morpheus. Look, it's not safe. Pete's... He, he might find you. He won't. He told me so himself. He couldn't get inside me. That's what frustrated him so much. My dreams were closed off to him. If I go back inside, I might be able to speak with that girl again. The one Pete's is so afraid of. And maybe she can help me get back to... To that place. To Arcadia? I know you don't believe me. I don't even know if I believe it myself, but... It's not that I don't believe you, Zoe. It's just that I know how powerful the dreamer is. It can make anything seem real. It wasn't a dream. I don't know what it was, but I was there. Somewhere else. Another world. And I need to go back. It's too dangerous. Look, Charlie said I never left the fringe the first time I hooked up. I'll be right here. You can pull me out if anything happens. It could be the whole thing was just a dream. In that case, there's nothing to lose. And if it wasn't a dream, there's everything to be gained. Maybe April knows what's going on now. Maybe she's willing to help me. Maybe... Damien, please. It's the only lead we have right now. I don't want to sit here and wait. I want to do something. I want to stop Wattie Corp. I know. I, I just wish that I... I didn't have to sit here and, and watch you hook up to that thing. I know. I've enjoyed staying here, Damien. With you. Getting to know you. You're... You're someone I might want to get to know better. Really? I, I feel the same way. It's just that... This is a strange time. I don't know where Reza is, or if he's even alive still. The world's going to hell. And now we're talking about hooking me up to a device that might send me to another world. It's a bit out of the ordinary. I can see that. So, um, I just wanted you to know that I like you. That I want to get closer to you. Just not, not right now. Hey, that's okay. I feel... So you don't forget? Trust me, I won't. You're great, Zoe, and, and I... Shut up. Jeepers, this place has changed a lot. It used to scare the crap out of me, and now it's sort of... fluffy. With an edge. The Guardian's out there. 
I guess I should go alone. I'm not arguing. Knock yourself out. I'll wait here. Unless that portal thingy starts closing, in which case it's bye-bye Guardian's Realm. Hello, comfortable reality. Don't worry. I'll be back soon. Crow is the most loyal friend I have ever had. I wonder why the White Dragon told Crow that he's needed. Needed for what? I wonder why the White Dragon... Forget about asking me to come with you. I don't like those big pillars of light. They're never safe to be around. I'm staying right here. Thank you very much. The last time I saw this place, it was desolate. Now there's life everywhere. The White Dragon said the portal would take us back to Mercuria, but I need to speak with the Guardian first. I know that bottomless abyss. I know that... I know that... I'm just as surprised as you are, Gordon. How... Uh, how have you been? I... don't know. This place... I'm both a part of it, and apart from it. I'm no longer who I once was, though... I remain who I once was. There is natural dichotomy to the balance. Positive and negative. Reality and dream. Being and unbeing. Sounds confusing. I don't envy your role. You're standing in the middle of a very busy intersection. I don't know any other way to be anymore. I... remember. But my memories feel like they belong to someone else. So, April, you have come to me with questions. I didn't know where else to turn. Something's going on with the Twin Worlds, and I need to know what you know. You're right. Something touches the balance between the Twin Worlds. Dreams. Threads that weave through the Divide. But the balance remains undisturbed. Dreams have always passed between the world of Stark and the world of Arcadia. That is how the worlds stay connected. How magic and science remain inextricably tied to each other. The laws of nature, of the universe, are stronger than the artifice of the Divide. So it's not something dangerous? I don't know, April. There are forces far stronger than the balance at play here. Dreams make up the fabric of Cosmos. Yet my responsibility lies solely with the channeling of energies between Stark and Arcadia, between science and magic. And you don't know anything about these dreams? I know this. Your role in these events has come to an end. You are not the one who will set things right this time. I'm... not. Who will? That's not for me to see. Your fate has always been tied to the balance, April. 
I see where our paths intersect. I can't see into the dreaming. The dreaming? What's that? The place where everything begins. You, me, this realm, the twin worlds, time, matter, cosmos, everything. It all begins in the dreaming. You're being obtuse. You know I hate it when people are being obtuse. I'm sorry. I don't know any more than that. But you don't have to carry the burden on your shoulders this time around, April. You're free. Go live your life. Let the past go. That's easy for you to say. There's meaning to your existence. Me? I wasn't who I thought I was. I honestly have no idea who I am anymore. Everyone kept telling me I was important, that I was needed. Then one day I... wasn't. I was just lost. So don't tell me I'm free. Don't tell me to go live my life. You don't know. You have a purpose. We all do, April. You just haven't found yours yet. But this isn't it. Let it go. Okay, done. I'm officially letting this one go. There's nothing more you can tell me? Only what I sense. Dreams are passing from Stark to Arcadia, but not the other way around. A slow trickle that may grow to a torrent. But this does not concern the balance. And so, it does not concern me. I guess that's good news. Thank you. By the way, I like what you've done with the place. Thank you. Safe journeys, April. Gordon, talk about a blast from the past. Gordon. Crow, let's go. So, did you find what you were looking for? I did. Good. I love happy endings. Ah, another adventure complete. Well played, partner. Time to go back and gorge ourselves on Rose de Gipa and Ice Ale. <laughs> I wonder why the White Dragon told Crow that he's needed. Needed for what? You drink ice ale? I thought you didn't like alcohol. I've acquired a taste for it. And I like being drunk and not having to take responsibility for my actions. That's always a plus.
Don't worry about the drug. It won't harm you. It's a mild sedative and hallucinogenic. It'll help you sleep and dream. I'm not a big fan of drugs. Me neither. But for the time being, the dreamer requires it. We're working... I mean, we were working on it. This won't hurt at all. I feel drowsy already. Hold on, I'll get the dreamer. I'm so... sleepy. I know. You'll be fast asleep in less than a minute. Damien? Yeah, Zoe? Don't... leave me. I won't. I'll be right here when you come back. What did you... say? I want to stay far away from those cracks. April Ryan, but... You must save her! I don't know... Who are you? What are you? You must save her, Zoe. Please! But I don't know what to do. She's fine. She doesn't need to be saved. Find April 